Hi, I'm Gene Cavassis. A year ago, I bought this Win 9 inch bandsaw, and I was going to do a review on it at the time, but I thought, you know, I think it'd be better to do a review on it after I put some miles on it. So, after one year and a lot of projects, I'm ready to talk about this machine. So, let's get started. So this is the Wynn Model 3959 bandsaw. So some of the things that I noticed right off the bat that I liked about the saw was one, it's all metal construction. Even the doors on this are made of metal. The adjustment is very simple with the blade for tensioning. On the back is your vertical adjustment that will allow you to adjust the tracking back and forth of the blade. Also, there is a side window that you can look through to see that your blade is tracking properly. The doors open separately, which I've had my previous bandsaw that was a plastic front and you had to open both doors at the same time. The top is a 12 inch by 12 inch platform and it adjusts up to 45 degrees. And you may say, would I ever use that? But I've actually been surprised I have used that. The width it can cut is 9 inches, and the height here is 3 and a half inches. I could run a 2 by 4 through there. It comes with a simple rip gate, which I didn't think I'd use that much, and turns out I have used that quite a bit, and I've used it several times very close to get some of those nice great cut. The thing that impressed me with was I didn't even have to do a lot of adjusting on this and it has always tracked very well. Besides the tracking, you can make your adjustments fine-tuning the blade back and forth with a set of allens into the front and the side. To raise the blade, you loosen the back and you raise it up to the height you want, then tighten the back. The biggest thing that a, about a bandsaw is they're a fantastic tool so long as they're set up right. But if they're not set up right and it's not tracking well, they're a bigger pain than any tool I've ever used. This one has not been that issue and it adjusts easy and very well. It also came with a miter gauge. It's a small miter gauge, but I've used that on a few projects as well. This also comes with a two and a half inch vacuum port on the back side. Now I put a reducer adapter on the back so that I can use my vacuum cleaner hose and it works really well. So let's take a look at some of the different projects I use this for and you can see how well it did on different types of wood, plastic, and even MDF. My son even enjoyed using this bandsaw as we worked together and we recreated a prop version of the Mandalorian rifle. We used everything from two inch fur to MDF that helped us to build all the intricacies that went together to create this prop rifle. I'll put a link in the top of the page for any of these projects if you want to check them out. I was also able to create a vintage Coca-Cola style bottle opener by stacking up four quarter inch pieces of MDF and then intricately cutting the shapes out for this vintage style bottle opener. Utilizing this bandsaw had really helped me to get really tight and close with the products and helped me make things that I'm really happy with. Once again using Poplar, I built a electric acoustic guitar cutting the body and the face out of a hardwood material. Here I actually just used pressure treated lumber to cut out basic notching so that I could set this into a trailer body to save a lot of time. I ordered this from Amazon and I paid right around $140 for it with free shipping. And so far I've been really happy with how well it works. Its construction is good. It's a great home shop tool. So I'm giving this the DIY Gene seal of approval. And I would recommend this to anybody. If you like this review or have some ideas for others or even comments on this one, let me know. Put them in the comment section down below and I'll see you soon.